uh, this Thursday morning, where it's 22 to 7. Got some worrying new numbers around pool deaths. Uh, these are private pool deaths. Uh, despite law changes around the fencing and the safety, numbers over the past year and a half are up. Five of the 13 deaths were kids under five. So are we doing something obviously wrong? Water Safety New Zealand Chief Executive Jonty Mills is with us on this. Jonty, good morning. Good morning, Mike, and thanks for the update. And Not at all. I was just about to catch up with all that. Good on you. 13, I mean, all deaths are too many, obviously, but 13 isn't that high, is it really? Well, look, like you say, every preventable death uh, is, is concerning for us and for the country. So we certainly have seen a spike over the last two years in the home pools and public pools death. Uh, death, which is concerning, probably a little bit too early to link it to a trend in terms of the uh, new legislation that's come in with the Building Act, which came into force at the beginning of last year. Are more people, and this is like road accidents as well, you've got more people coming into the country, presumably more people leads to more pools, more pools leads to more accidents. Well, generally across the drowning prevention spectrum, we have uh, higher participation, a whole lot more people doing a whole lot more things across different activities and environments. Uh, but particularly concerning with these numbers you were just talking about before, the under fives, the toddlers, and really um, we had five uh, last year, uh, under fives out of the ten uh, drownings in public pools and home pools, and really the only foolproof solution there, Mike, is that constant adult supervision. Uh, exactly what I was going to suggest. Is it rules and fencing, or is it mum and dad actually paying attention? Well, for the toddlers, particularly the under fives, um, without doubt, it is that constant adult supervision. You simply can't take your eyes off them. We know it takes less than a minute for a child to drown. But, you know, the intent of the uh, legislation from our perspective, and, you know, we're not a regulator. Um, the Building Act provides the legislation, and MB is then responsible for the interpretation of that, and then the local authorities enforce it. But from our perspective, uh, purely from a drowning prevention perspective, uh, um, it, it's about uh, uh, creating a barrier for children particularly mm. and taking that element of risk out of it. Jonty, appreciate your time very much. Jonty Mills, the Water Safety New Zealand Chief Executive with us this morning, 19 to uh, 7. Hosking.